This is Natalina Love, and I'm here with Rory Ray Siren Master Coach Beth Ellen. This is a feminine energy chat. We've been having these feminine energy chats and just felt so fun to share with with all of you. Last our last conversation kind of started us out with our origin stories. <laughs> How we got here. What what brought us to Rory's work? How we're using Rory's work and time, the time aspect. Time's always kind of a factor even when we are like we have all the time in the world, even with that mindset, which I love so much when you when time disappears, when you're with people that you love and you're doing things you enjoy, time flies, they say. Beth and I were joking as we were putting our notes together. Of, what, what do we want to talk about? And I was like, well, there, how much can we really do in 10 minutes? You can surprise yourself and how much you can do in 10 minutes. You can be surprised at what can happen in three minutes <laughs> <laughs> and um well also also the whole dynamic and dilemma of waiting around by the phone now this i don't i don't know that people joke about this in the same ways as they used to be like well i'm not just gonna be home waiting by the phone waiting for him to call but nowadays we're wireless we're we're cordless we can we but yet we're still waiting. You know, we're constantly checking our phones. We're constantly waiting for his text. We're constantly waiting for the emails. And we're still all juiced up about what a man is doing and what, how he shows up or doesn't show up. So, ooh, quick, quick, quick feminine energy chat on all of this good stuff. Yeah, you know, for it's funny you mentioned the... um waiting <laughs> I remember when I did have a cord phone on the wall in the kitchen I'd pick it up and listen see if there's a dial tone make sure it's there's no phones off the hook somewhere else in the house <laughs> <laughs> you know crazy then we had a cordless phone I even had my own phone line at one point you know check it push the button Look, listen for the dial tone. Got to make sure it's working. We got to hang it up quick because what if what if he called right when I had picked it up? He's going to get a busy signal. Whew, goodness, I tell you, you know. Nowadays, there's not even like long distance like fees. Like, oh my gosh. Right. My no friends excuse. and I <laughs> calling our crushes as like young teenagers and then getting all giddy and being, you know, like, oh no what if his brother answers the phone or what if his dad answers the phone <laughs> right oh man Ooh, I tell you so what do we do I mean but you know it's interesting because I think that there's still a waiting aspect you know um I always say I'm just a few steps ahead of of, of some others and I'm still growing and learning and you know from the from the other ladies in front of me but I used to be a really good waiter we're not gonna, you know, not gonna, not, or I was a good waitress. We wanna, you know, <laughs> I was really good at waiting. And, um, well, what do you mean by that though? Like, do you just mean like I just did it a lot and I had a good attitude about it? Or like the kind of good that's all like, I was so good at waiting that, like, you know, <laughs> I think I think I'm trying to write songs in my head like the boys right. come to the honey and like just I get what I want because I was so good at waiting like that kind of good right I think you know for me honestly I when I think about over the years um maybe I wasn't really ever a good waiter um, none of us but, are right <laughs> right but I still would wait it it depended upon like who the guy was you know what I mean? If it was a guy that I was like, eh, you know, I might be out running errands with my mom and, you know, I'll check the answer machine when I get home, you know, kind of thing back in the day. Um, you know, cell phone, you know, be out there living my life and, and like, oh, my phone is vibrating or, oh, I hear a sound. Let me, oh, I have a call coming in. 
But then if it's a certain guy, it was like checking, checking, checking. Like, did my phone go off? Did the battery die? What? Why isn't my phone ringing? I keep looking at it. So I, I think that's still waiting. Or what I actually, for myself, I would call it looking in the rear view mirror. Ooh. Like I'm living my life. Maybe, maybe I'm out. Like today's a beautiful day here uh, in Portland, Oregon. Gorgeous day. So maybe I'm out by the waterfront. We're at a market or something. But if I keep looking at my phone, in in my word, what I say is that's me looking in the rearview mirror. I'm no longer looking forward at what's in front of me and you know all the you know beautiful people and just the blue skies and the flowers and the water, all these things that I love. But I'm looking in my rearview mirror, hoping, and I'm almost almost wanting to turn around and see. Is he behind me? Is he coming? Is he, you know, that's what I call looking in the rear view mirror. So I think that we, you know, having cell phones are great, but oh, yeah. it does, we can still wait for sure. Um, I've even had guys tell me, I remember one guy reconnected with, he said, you seem like you'd get mad if um, I don't call when I say I'm going to call or something like that. Don't we all? And I and it was so weird. I was like, no, I'm cool. Then I was like, yeah, well, don't say you're going to call if you're not going to call. And he was like, see, see. But one of the things that I learned with the Roy Ray method is it's not so much to make a decision. I'm going to wait or I'm not going to wait or I'm going to be mad or I'm not going to be mad. But where can I turn my attention where it's on something that feels good? Where or how can I turn my attention? Because sometimes, you know, I mean, one of the things she, one of her tools, a list of a hundred things. I love that because you make a list of a hundred things and you might start off with just five things, but you add to it every time you think of something that would feel good for you while you're doing it. Or what I, when I coach, I say, or you believe you'll feel good after you've done it. So for me, something that feels good while I'm doing it, drinking a cool glass of water, taking a walk, taking a nap. Mm -hmm. Those things actually feel good for me while I'm doing it. Something that would feel good for me, I believe I'll feel good afterwards, might be hot yoga. <laughs> or, or spending time with my mom and she's not feeling good. You know, she's a little bit older. She's, she's dealing with some physical things. So it's not necessarily an enjoyable time, but I feel good having done it after I've done it. And I feel, so I, I go and see her regularly. So that might be one of those things. Um, you know, some people, and, and these are things, you can have things that you could buy and purchase, but you could have things on there, listening to music, playing music, you know, piano player, if, you know, painting, whatever things that feel good. So that's where your attention goes and you'll notice you're no longer waiting. Mm -hmm. And then the phone rings or it doesn't ring and maybe another fish shows up and it gets your attention and you're like, oh, well, okay. I'm not going to keep waiting for somebody or something that's not showing up. You know, pay attention to what's in front of you. There's lots of beautiful things out there. I think there might be actually some technical terms for this, like active waiting, um, which I mean, doesn't sound sexy at all, but like, you know. <laughs> I'm actively waiting, uh, actively waiting. <laughs> like, what do you do in the time that like you, you know, you're the time that you have and the time that you're excited for and the things that you want um, when we all want things yesterday, but we're still not prepared for what we want right now. Like we, all you know as so spontaneous as feminine energy is we still love a man with a plan who courts us through this whole experience of it, you you say you're gonna make you say you're gonna call us 
And when you don't call us, it's all like, oh, were you not serious about actually courting me? Were you not even serious about liking me? Were you not even, you know, like when you looked at me, were you not even looking at me? Like, I don't know, like, we, like all of this can just kind of, just, you didn't even look at me when you looked at me. You don't even know my name or my <laughs> eye color, you know, right. like, uh, but like that appreciation and coming back to that and what you were, what you were talking about this, when you get into the 100 things list and you know, this is going to help me feel good right now, right now, this instant. And then there's other things that you're like, okay, well, this is going to make me feel good later. So like you're doing self-care, you're actually courting yourself through how you want to feel in that whole process. And if we can do that for ourselves, we create that space for more romance for more courtship for everything we want how 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 are we doing on time got about five more minutes do you want to wrap wrap us up here well the other thing while you were talking i, I remember um one of in rory's pro program she talks about dropping to the floor so this the these tools work whether it's something you know somebody you've been seeing for a long time and you feel like, but wait a minute, it wasn't just he ghosted one date. We've been dating for several years or just whatever it is. So it can be like not a big deal or a huge, 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 big deal. And she would say, like, just drop to the floor, you know, feel it, feel it, everything. If you, if you want to cry, cry, if you, if you, you know, if no emotion comes up, then that's fine too. But at some point you're going to get bored looking at the carpet or the floor and you're going to be like, all right, let me get up. And that's, and that's, that's something I've done. I don't have to do it as much, or I don't, I don't remember the last time I did it necessarily, but I did do it. And it's true when I would drop to the floor and I would be all in my head about the guy and what he didn't do and should have done and, you know, whatever, whatever I was feeling and thinking and then feeling the, the sadness or the, it felt painful or whatever, how big or small. And then at some point you just run out like, huh. <laughs> and sometimes I would even kind of giggle and laugh at my, like not laugh, you know, be mad at myself. This is not a beat yourself up activity, but just kind of a, let the ground just absorb it, take it. And then you get up, turn to your list. And this is how I started. And I would look and like, Okay, what can I do right now for me? What do I think would be good for me to feel better? And I would just go and just do different things. And I still, without thinking about it, I do that all the time. I have one quick thing, so nothing to do with a man. I've had some challenges with with um, like with my car. We'll get the perfect example. My car got hit, had to work through insurances and this and that, waiting. It's a hurry up and wait. They reach out. Oh, I missed a call. Boom. I call back, wait on hold, wait. You know what I mean? Or I send an email. They might respond in two days, but then they send me an email. We've been trying to reach you. Oh my gosh. That, that kind of thing just gets on my nerves. So what do I do? I'm like, okay, there's only so much I can do. I can't change the other person. I can't change the guy. I can't change the insurance company. So what I can do is take care of me first. And that's what I, that's my go-to. Get my glass of water, take a walk, pet the dog, call, call a girlfriend, laugh, tell jokes, listen to, you know, listen to them, see what they're, what they're up to. Not complain about my guy or my situation. Mm -hmm. Biggie, not focus and put all that energy into that. Something that feels good. And then it seems to just, everything starts to just fall into place, falls into place. No, I I do think that's quite relevant. Maybe we should talk about that next time. The the navigating discomfort and choosing choose oh, I'm like choosing the good feeling thing without ignoring like what doesn't feel good. And you're you are a master with this. And I, I'm always impressed as as you share your wisdom. All right, well, we'll end here. All right. Thanks for coming, ladies and gentlemen, if you're here. Ha, 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 ha.